What's going on, Extra JDM fam? This video is long overdue. I got a package today, and I also have another package inside. I've been asked, Austin, where's the Miata? Where's it at? Did you sell it? Did you blow it up? No. I, I blew it up. <laughs> So it's been sitting here, sadly, for a month outside of my house. It's absolutely filthy. Like, I, I don't even want to talk about it, all right? Little Miata update. It's been a month since this car has moved, and I'm kind of upset about it, but I'm not at the same time. I got some parts for it. Basically what happened was Joe and I were idiots and we drilled a quarter inch hole into my headers because it made me spit flames and i did i spit foot and a half long flames um completely stock no tune just with the hole in my headers and advanced timing so i think my valves didn't like it very much so what happened was the car was running fine i was on the highway one day and it just started to lose power I thought it was a fuel issue, so I brought it to AutoZone and I changed my fuel pump in the AutoZone parking lot. <laughs> Took about three or four hours because I didn't have like really all the right tools to do it and the fuel pump was kind of hard to get out because it was all rusty in there and there was literally rat asbestos underneath the fuel cover. So I changed the fuel pump. I'm like, all right, that's, that ain't it. Then I did injectors. I got new coil packs and I also, what else did I do? I think that, I think that was it. So I changed those three things and it didn't resolve the issue. So I ordered ARP head studs. I got a front and main seal. I got a ported and shaved head. I got a new clutch, a six putt clutch. I got gauges just because I wanted new gauges. And then I also got an exhaust. So I can finally get rid of this dinky old straight pipe. No hanger and stuff. It's literally a full straight pipe. Two and a half inch all the way back. So that's fun. So I got six packages coming to me in the mail. And two of them are here. I got my injectors and I think that box over there is the clutch. Hopefully when all my packages get here, I can just bring this car to Tino's house and I'm gonna have to pull the motor again with Kylie and Tino and Derek. We're gonna pull it without the transmission this time because, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's easier. I, I heard it's always easier to do it with the transmission, but I guess I need it without the transmission because I need to take off my clutch, I need to do my rear main seal, and then a few other things like that. Oh, I also got motor razors from the UK so I don't know how long those are gonna take to get here so that'll raise my motor up so I don't crack another oil pan cuz I really don't want to pull my motor again just to change the oil pan it took us four days to pull it change the part put it back in and then get everything running so four days it was my first time pulling the motor none of us had any experience doing it hopefully the second time around it'll go a lot faster and I mentioned this in the last video that we did but somebody stole my heart like they unbolted it there's two phillips head screws someone literally unscrewed it took the heart and then screwed it back together because there's no cuts on this thing they tried to rip it off but i used a metal zip tie and that metal zip tie was so secure they, they had to unbolt it so fuck you whoever that is let me talk about the paint real quick this paint sparkle black it was cool it's super dirty right now so you can't even really see it anymore but i wanted to do this whole sparkle black thing and i guess there's a little scratch from the tent that we used at autozone parking lot i guess the wind blew it at it so i'm sanding down the entire car and painting it all at once i'm not taking off any more body panels i'm not doing it piece by piece like this like I hate seeing my car like this it's absolutely ridiculous so I'm gonna sand the entire car down and do one color 
I will keep the Rising Sun hood, but that's also this hood's also getting sanded down and resprayed because I want to redo this design. I at first just used a big bowl and made a circle around it, and then I used masking tape. But right there, right there, and right here, these lines aren't even. Like as you see right here, it looks better than it does right here. So we're just gonna make them straight, just like this side to over here, and just make it symmetrical across. So I'm gonna redo the entire hood, and I'm gonna redo it a different color. I don't wanna do this sparkle blue anymore. I don't know if you guys can tell. But it's a it's a blue. It's it's not black. It looks black at night, yeah, but it's blue and white. My front bumper is actually in my backyard because we took it off to tow this thing. We had to flat tow it for my control arm because I have no tow hooks in the front. It's another day and today we have a big mission going on. We have to tow my Miata and Kylie's Miata today to Tino's house. And Kylie got Tino's truck over there. She got a little U-Haul trailer that I guess looks the size of a Miata. So today we're going to be pushing my welded diff Miata up there and I guess we'll see how it goes because her parts car has missing parts off of it that might be hard for it to roll. I guess it's got a flat tire too so we'll figure out as we go. I finally got my front bumper and I noticed that my front lip looks a little warped from the sun so that sucks. But yeah this is going to be our mission today so stay tuned guys. He's a little over to the left, but yeah, as long as he keeps going this straight. Way, just a little bit on our next try. Yeah. The good thing is these can move, like. Oh yeah. So I can center it on the tire no matter what. All right, everybody, watch out. Made it a lot farther that time. Oh, the frame rails. Did they huh? hit? <laughs> what? Um, the left frame rail's hitting it, so. Can't even, like. I don't know. Well, after Derek and I and my grandpa, we got the Miata on the trailer. Callie's finishing up, strapping it down and everything like that, but it was a mission. At first, like, it didn't go up, as you guys saw, and then we had to start again, but we got it on the second try. My uh, left frame rail was hitting on this um, slider, whatever, I guess you could say, and uh, yeah, so we're good. Peep that straight pipe. Full straight pipe baby all the way back. The car's on the trailer, so we're gonna go to Tino's and then I'll film once we uh, unload it. Ah, we made it to Tino's junkyard. <laughs> Where all the cars laid to die. We made it, no issues or anything like that. So we're just gonna unload her and uh, yeah, let her roll. Somebody wanna? <laughs> <laughs> Runaway Miata. Oh, I'm the boy. <laughs> You're a cop. I think it was going the tree. <laughs> Where did you think it was going? There's a brick wall over there. Oh my. <laughs> it scratched the fuck out of it. Good thing it's getting repainted. Yeah. 
Alright, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go in the bush. <laughs> like it's not already I filthy. I like your car and you just stared at it rolling. I know, <laughs> like... I really don't care at this point. <laughs> I think you were wanting it to hit the wall or something. No. <laughs> you were like... I, I was just looking at it. curve. Well, she went, ooh. <laughs> my bumper too. Well, she made it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Right? Shit show. It's really soft plastic and you left it in the sun, so. Oh my, I need a new lip now. Yeah. What the f yeah. All right guys, so the shit show is over for now. We got both the Miatas here at Tino's house in the boneyard. So yeah, this thing, Callie and I are gonna strip down, take all the parts that we need off of it, put it on her car, and then whatever she doesn't want, I'll take. But yeah, this is it for now. So we're gonna go ahead and drop off the trailer right now. And uh, I don't really know what else. I might wanna do something to my car today. Maybe not, depends on how we feel. It's actually pretty nice outside. It's only like 95, so it's not really that hot. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop off the trailer. Hey, Tino just pulled up. He gotta be obnoxious all the time, bro. Every day, every day, he gets home at two o'clock and, and he doesn't him. hit us up until four. Yeah, so your lip fell off. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna see it. Yeah, I have half the lip. Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's like an off road truck. <laughs> oh, dude, where's your lip? On the free. Dude, he's smoking out my Miata. Dude. Alright, guys, so yesterday I put this fender on because mine was all junk, and I put the parts car trunk onto mine because hers doesn't have any styrofoam underneath it. So I'm just gonna keep that. And it looks like my zip tie broke because I definitely had a zip tie up here. Oh well, that's nice. Oh, oh no, oh no. His lip broke. <laughs> it literally ripped right off and then I looked down the and I heard a bum bum. I'm like, what the fuck, we're gonna rip and just like exploded. And just like, ah, uh, dude. It did pass 160 times. That's the thing. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more content. Stay tuned for the Miata build because it's gonna be absolutely sick. We got a lot of parts. We got a lot of things in mind coming soon. So hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next one.